What's going on, y'all? This is Lou. And this is Key, and we're low key. Today, we're going to talk to y'all about idling, you know? So, when I say idling, I mean um, you standing still. Like, you running in place, you, you doing the running, man. Like, you look like you moving. Yeah, you might even be sweating. And it gives a perception that you actually taking action. But in all actuality, you idling. And you really ain't doing nothing. Spam over, bro. Yeah, so when you're idle, basically you're lazy. A lot of times we could be idle. It's like when a car is sitting still. Right? You waiting to go. And you know how when you're sitting still, nothing's moving. So when you're idle in your life, nothing's moving. You have no direction. You have no purpose. You're just you're self centered. You look. You're critical. You criticize people. You try. You gossip. Gossip is a big one. Um, and you're not driven. You're not motivated. So you don't want to idle. Sit still. You're looking at somebody else's mistakes and their failures, or you're looking at them and you're criticizing them. But deep inside, you're just not moving in the direction of any direction basically and that is the playground for the devil it's dangerous man it's like and we um you know partaking on this new journey ourselves you know from working talk about burning the boats like they burnt <laughs> you know and it's like you learn things about yourself and about humans in general. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not hard to accomplish what you want to accomplish for real. Exactly. So, say if you're working a job and you're working 16, 15 hours a day, every day. I mean, imagine if you did that for yourself and, you know, your household's campaign where you would really be instead of going to work for a couple of dollars. Six figure job but not like it's nothing in the grand scheme of things what you sacrificing at a job for money. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Um <coughs> so you wanna you wanna get moving. Number one when you when you talk about Burning the boats, that means that you don't give yourself any excuse as to why. And when you burn the boats, you got to survive. It, it puts it into perspective. So there's no excuse as to why we're not doing this and why we're not doing that. Um, we want to do it for ourselves, do it for our family, do it for each other. Do it because that's our purpose. Our purpose is to be creative. Our purpose is to... to to take care of each other, you know? Yeah. And when we are idle, we can't do that. We can't benefit anybody when we're idle. You can't benefit yourself. You can't benefit anyone. So a good way, um, a few tips to be the opposite is to get moving. Prioritize. Write your goals down. Structure your day. Like give them a step, like... Three things they can start because this is not easy, you know. If you really, if we really talk about getting something done, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, you could move around, da 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 da, but you gotta have some type of, some type of direction, and some type of goal. So, what you think is three things that they can start out with? I think uh, structuring your day, I think that's one thing that helps me. But before you do that, you need to write your goals. Like, what is it that you're trying to accomplish? Yeah. You know, what what is it something that you've always dreamed of that you want to do? What drives you? What makes you happy? What's your why? why? Why, you know, do you wake up in the morning? Why do you go to the job that you go to? Why do you... The things that you want, you want to set those goals 
and then after you set your goals then you want to prioritize them of course and you want to get moving got to get moving and then we're not talking about moving in just place we're talking about actually actually setting goals and taking action like mm -hmm. massive action we move it mm -hmm. every day every minute mm -hmm. no idle and read 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 reading is good yeah. readers reading. is leaders and you know you'll realize when you out here taking action because there's a lot of thinking before you actually really separate from a corporate structure or a job like it's a lot of thinking that gotta take first gotta take place first before you physically it's a mental separation mm -hmm. before the physical separation like you have to read up on what you want you gotta know that you gotta believe in this thing that you're doing and I say, we say burn the boats. I mean, I heard that before. You know, we ain't make that up. As yeah. I'm sure you already know. But yeah. what comes from out of my spirit is like, we in the jungle. For real. Mm -hmm. And it's like, when you working up under somebody forever, you depending on that paycheck. It's like you in the zoo. And they bringing you the food. You know, so you chilling, you there, people come by and look at you. Your, your day is structured, you know that food coming. Mm -hmm. But when you leave that zoo, like you out there with the apes, like <laughs> it's up to you. It's up yes, to you. Yes, yes. It's up to you. And yes. if you don't, and that's why they say when you let an animal out of the zoo and back into the wild, mm -hmm. without proper introduction, what happened? They they die. They die because they ain't ready. They don't know how to eat. Mm -hmm. When you talk about really like eating what you kill in a business standpoint, mm -hmm. you know, you going out there, you writing down a goal, and you accomplish that thing, and you, you know what I'm saying, your team, y'all killed that thing, mm -hmm. it's a different feeling. Oh, yeah. It ain't even... The money is just a byproduct. Like, you build a different type of muscle. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're working on right now. It's a process. Oh, like, yeah. it sounds easier, you know, than what it is. But it take time to really, like, fine-tune this thing. Like, and you got to want it. Yeah. You got to want it. You got to want it. You got to <coughs> want it as bad as, basically, you want to live. You want to breathe, up. you know, and you got to know for sure that that's something that you want because if it's something that you want, it's in your heart, you're going to move. That's you're going to make it happen. You're going to make it happen. I think um, a lot of times we, we, we're we fearful, and that all goes back into mindset. Why are they know? fearful? Because you don't think you can have anything. Mm. You don't believe in yourself enough to know that I can feed myself. I don't have to wait for somebody to hand me a check or hand me this and that. And majority of the time, the jobs that we do, we deserve more pain. We deserve it. We're giving our, all of our time to somebody that's yeah, they, not even worth it. We take in orders they, or take in directions. Yeah, from, from yeah. supervisors and people that don't, they're not even qualified for this. Um, and then the company uh, owners are sitting in rooms of gold. They're sitting and enjoying life. They're not even really working. So why can't we have our own? Yeah. Why can't we be what we're designed to be? And, and if we're, we're put on in this universe to, to be creative, create your own. I'm pretty sure, sure you'll yeah. find you'll find something that you're good at when you create it yourself. Everybody ain't now again, everybody ain't like ain't meant for this type of journey. No. Like most people, you get you a good job, you go to school, get you a good job, mm -hmm. and you provide value that way. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Nothing. You I'm know? not knocking anybody. But we can only speak from Get y'all real value from a personal perspective. Mm -hmm. You know, we have 
my skills to go and work a job. Yeah. You know, for a decent amount of money, but that's not in our in our movement. Like, you know, when you look at your boss and you know he don't do the things that you do, the disciplines that you have on a day to day basis. I cannot listen to that person or they borderline disrespectful because they know they bringing you your plate every day. Oh, yeah. So they can talk whatever type of nonsense they want. You're mm -hmm. going to be there because you're trying to get that food. So you put your head down. Mm -hmm. Or to one day you end up blowing up. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. You get your little <laughs> stimulus money. <laughs> then you end up blowing up. And then when being when being gangster go wrong, <laughs> and then your ass out there at the car wash washing windows because yeah. you didn't made a horrible mistake yeah you gotta like you gotta plan for this because mm -hmm. the one good thing about that a job taught me it taught me how not to idle a job will show you how to use that god given power that you got oh yeah because when your ass get off from work and you're tired they don't pull it up out you oh yeah yeah but when it's up to you Mm -hmm. You land on the couch, you, you know, in real struggles, you have to find it within yourself, you know, and then you can relate back to that job, and it all comes back down to movement mm -hmm. with a direction, you know? Absolutely. Yeah, what's up, babe? Absolutely. So, oh, another thing is when you idle... It's like your mind is just in neutral. What you mean? So it's like you have no thoughts about what you need to be doing. You just sitting there and then your mind is open to everything. Yeah. And then next All thing you know, oh, let me call such and such. Yeah. Let me uh, go down here and see what they got going on. Yeah. You and everybody's business. Get to talking about the past, how what you call it, did you wrong? Mm -hmm. I ain't nothing. Mm -hmm. For real. Yeah. And then that's a, you gain the momentum for destruction. That way. You, you go momentum that way. Yeah. You're not, you, and you <coughs> don't want to be like that, man. That is so, like, negative. Mm -hmm. And you don't want people around you like that. Even if you're not like that, don't let, don't be around people like that. Don't even hold conversations with people that are idle. That's major. When they come to you with some gossip, talking about what somebody else, they, they're idle. Just, oh, yep. They're idle. Idle. Mm hmm Or negativity and, and hit you up. Like, it, we ain't talking about no no movement. Like, what we telling you, like, no a way to how to not idle. Mm -hmm. Like, we moving, adding value to people's lives. Like, adding value to my family. You talking, like, about some gossip, about negativity. Like, you got to find a way to separate yourself from these people. And when you start to to read and become aware of yourself and solidify your direction, like we have done, like, did the work to know exactly where we want to go, exactly what we want, mm -hmm. you then can, you know, actually listen to the conversation that you having with people because people will pull you way out of alignment. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Tell them. That's how you know you down counseling them on some whole <laughs> other free energy. Free. And God, like, or the creator, the source, he like, okay, that's what you want to do with your energy. That what you're going to do with your energy. Now, when they devalue you, just like how we were talking yesterday. What was the topic yesterday? The agreeable, what was it called? Um, being agreeable. Being agreeable. Uh, uh, people pleaser. People pleaser. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That, like, the lack of direction, you know, you going that way because... That's really your direct because that's what you want. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? Idling, people pleasing. You idling, you mm-hmm. idling, people pleasing, bullshitting. But if that's what you want, that's what you're going to get. Yeah. That's you it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I ain't got nothing up. That's it. Just don't idle. You got to focus on it. Like, it's just real. We can keep going mm-hmm. about the going that way. But, you know, we dropping. We coming at y'all every day. So, we got time. Yeah, and this is something that we had to learn through experience. Like, this is not something that we don't know about. We know we have to learn through experience. And sometimes this road to uh, success, it, a lot of people going to fall off. They're going to fall by the wayside. You got to you gotta make a change. Only meaningful conversations, meaning, meaningful relationships. Like, yeah. if it's not meaningful, it's not intentional, hey, let's take it to... You Not might today. lose everybody you were talking to. You might. you might only have, you know what I'm saying, your one with you. Mm-hmm. Or yourself if you're by yourself. Mm-hmm. Like, you got to find yourself. Or you will find yourself. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Can't do it. Man. It's low. And this is key. And how about y'all on that? Okay. Oh, yeah. um, like... Comment. And subscribe. Peace.